Yeah, notice that little note there. Well, the wonders about my lovely webcam is that the sound doesn't always like to work. And the thing is, I was rushing it at this point. I didn't bother re-watching the footage, which I usually do, so I didn't realize that the sound was off until I was in the editing process. So I wasn't very pleased when the sound wasn't working. So I had to add subtitles. Yeah. Which, the annoying thing about, you know, putting text over video in Windows Movie Maker, it doesn't really let you do much with it. So... Some of you guys probably had to pause it here to read everything that was being said, but yeah, Windows Movie Maker is annoying. I wish I had a better editing software. <laughs> but the thing is, the thing with the crappy author and the thing with the fanfic critic, those were both different shots, so that's why the crappy author's footage is fine. I think everything with the crappy author was filmed in just one huge shot where I'd, you know, just film everything, then I'd leave the room, then come back. So, yeah. So, right here, we're to assume that the fanfic creep pretty much flunked her into the chair, or the crappy author tried to avoid her and went into the chair. I don't know, I mean, the thing is, I can't have two of me in one shot. And I don't really have anyone around who could be a body double. <laughs> and especially seeing I'm kind of tall for a woman, I think it would be hard to have someone to be a body double. I'm like five foot eight. And that's tall for a woman, or at least I think it is. So right here, the fanfic critic critiques the crappy author, which was quite justifying, if you ask me. I did this in the original episode as well, but in the original episode when I would do the critique I would swipe at her with the razor, which was pretty crappy. I'll probably show it eventually. So in this one it's more like she's saying all these things. I love this shot, it's kind of creepy, you know? So pretty much I'm implying right here that the crappy author is a fanfic. A physical embodiment of a fanfic. That shot right there, I had to hold the camera in one hand. That's why it's kind of wobbling. I'm surprised I haven't broken my computer yet, seeing the camera is inside my computer. <laughs> yeah, to make that cutting sound effect, I had to scrape the razor up against something else that was metal to make it sound like, you know, scraping. And that all right there was really weird special effects for a Windows Movie Maker. So, the crappy author has been reduced to a jacket. <laughs> yeah. A jacket. Don't ask why. I even question it here. I just thought it, you know, it kind of symbolizes in a sense. I don't know why, but, you know, having her be a jacket was interesting, but oh well. So I guess the only real thing about her was being in the jacket. Oh, I should have had it be a deal that when Susan sees her, like when Susan, when the crappy author comes in, it's just this floating jacket. You guys can see her as well. Now the funny thing is, at the end of this episode, some people thought that this was the final episode of Fanfic Critic. I guess because I had credit um, credits at the end, but people, that doesn't mean it was the last episode. It was just, you know, an episode I put You're a lot of effort in, so I decided to have it have credits. It just seemed appropriate. So, pretty much, I am listed almost for everything here, but you gotta remember, it's just me and this webcam, so I guess making credits was kind of pointless, but I gave credit to other people, too. Yeah, no way in hell I own this music. This music's awesome though, but yeah. So that's this is my commentary for episode 41. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it, or at least I hope you enjoyed it. Tune in soon. I'll probably be making another commentary eventually. Bye!